Flooding and sinking graves at an historic cemetery where some famous Chicagoans are buried. CBS 2's Jim Williams is live outside Oakwood's cemetery with a story you'll only see on two. Jim, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Brad. Mayor Harold Washington, Olympics legend Jesse Owens, activist Ida B. Wells, all buried here at Oakwood Cemetery. But our eyes are on the grave of one young man. It is in poor condition. I don't sleep. I don't eat. Um, I have a hard time even trying to grieve him. Raycel Bowman's 26-year-old son, Eric Francis Harvey, died in his sleep. And every day since she buried him on March 1st, she has visited his grave here at the Oakwood Cemetery. It's really eating at me. The evidence of flooding. A pool of water is alongside her son's grave. Other graves in the immediate area are sinking. Bowman took this photo of a hose extending to a sewer. It doesn't even have to rain. It's full of water all the time. She believes her son's casket is surrounded by water. We see the pools of water here, but how are you convinced that there's water inside the grave itself? Because when they lowered my son in the grave and hundreds of people were out here, we were all witnessing the water pouring in from around the front and the sides. A spokeswoman for Oakwoods tells us our cemetery has been impacted by the inclement weather in the area over the past several weeks, resulting in some pooling water in a small section of the cemetery. We are in the process of working with the Bowman family to help resolve their situation and provide closure. This letter says Oakwoods is offering to bury Bowman's son in another part of the cemetery, but only if the cemetery is not held liable for any damages to Bowman's son's casket and body. She is not willing to sign the agreement. What happens if we pull him up and he's really messed up? We looked at other sections of the cemetery, including the grave of Mayor Harold Washington. All is well there, but not where Raycel Bowman buried her son. This condition has hurt my heart in ways that you could not imagine. What makes this story even more poignant? Bowman has now buried two sons here. An older son was murdered 20 years ago. Live in Woodlawn, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News.